is it fair? Here to talk about the whole notion of tax fairness, Odysseus Papadimitriou, the CEO of WalletHub, a regular guest here on America's Forum. Odysseus, it's always good to have you Skyping in. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. All right. You have put out at WalletHub.com uh, your tax fairness survey. Give me a quick overview uh, on how you describe tax fairness and what is going on with that. Uh, that's a great question. So we started thinking at WalletHub about tax fairness. And uh, very quickly, we realized that among uh, the team members, there were so many different opinions about what is fair and what is not fair. So we realized that we cannot really, there is not really a common theme o o on what is fair and what is not. And that's why it's so important to do a survey and ask Americans what they believe is fair and what it's not. And what we found was very surprising. For example, more than 90% of Americans believe that a investment income should be taxed at the same or higher rate than wage income. Um, only a quarter of people uh, think that uh, a flat uh, tax rate is uh, fair. Um, so we found a lot of interesting uh, uh, things about what uh, Americans think is fair and what's not. Now, now what, I just have to stop you. I want to make sure I understand this, Odysseus. Yep. The people whom you survey are cool with seeing investment income taxed at the same rate as wages? That's, Actually, what, that's what you found? Yeah, we, so exactly. We, we uh, hired an outside company and did a nationally representative online survey. And w w they found that uh, specifically 57% uh, want the two tax the same and 33% want investment income to be taxed higher than wages. Well, which, which prompts the question, Odysseus, it, when you did your exit polling, if you will, or who was responding to this survey, uh, where they show up on, on the economic ladder may work into this because presumably with someone who doesn't have savings or investment, they think, oh, well, we'll make it equal and tax it across the board, not understanding the importance of having investments for old age, etc taxed at um, at a level that is not the same as wages. Do, do you know whom was questioned exactly in terms of the uh, socioeconomic ladder? Yeah, well, in terms of both, we, we uh, our survey was representative across income, age, gender, uh, and education, and race. And uh, we didn't see, uh, you would be surprised, and we were surprised as well, to find out that actually this belief holds true across all of those dimensions. So there is not like, you know, the wealthy, uh, the higher income folks are not the ones that are saying, no, that's not fair. They're actually in agreement as well that uh, wages should be taxed at the same rate as investment. Well, Odysseus, I realize you're not putting together a political poll, and as a recovering right. politician, uh, I understand, though, that questions can be asked that, mm -hmm. that can create some challenges, to say the least. So right. w I don't know if this was addressed with the respondents as tax fairness, but if you're using the word fairness in the equation, mm -hmm. instinctively people say, okay, it's a topic of fairness. I better even this out. We better treat everybody the same. Did the people doing the poll specifically use the term tax fairness when asking the question? Uh, absolutely. So the, the question was, uh, what, do, what do you think is most fair? Should investment be, uh, be uh, taxed at a higher rate than wages, lower or the same? And so the, absolutely the word fair was in there. But again, it is surprising that almost one out of three believe that wages should be, I'm sorry, investment should be even be taxed higher than wages. Uh, but uh, you're correct that the uh, fairness was the key well, underlying see, theme of this. When, when you use that word, no offense, and I'm, you know, sometimes I give you a little trouble on this. Okay, maybe more times than not, but the word implies 
e equality and uh, a kind of egalitarian status. It is worth noting, though, what you said, Odysseus, about one third wanting to see investments taxed at a higher rate than wages. It is interesting. One other topic, though, that that may be a bit more palatable, tax complexity. Uh, yes. As I understand and, it, uh, and I'm you, sorry to interrupt you, Bill. Before we go into that, one interesting thing that we ask about the whole question about tax fairness and equality. Right. We ask uh, the survey respondents, what is most important to them? Is it tax fairness, tax equality, or whatever is best for the economy? And wh what we found there also surprised us with only l less than one out of five people choosing what is best for the economy as being the most important thing for them. And almost 60% choosing tax fairness as the most important thing, around 20% tax equality, and the least chose whatever is best for the economy. So that's another interesting data point, that tax fairness seems to be very important for taxpayers. Well, people enjoy being called fair. And politically, there are certain questions you ask to drill down, but you're doing something a little bit different than a political survey here. Let me talk about complexity, just a little <laughs> more than a minute left. Yep. When asked how complex they found the current code, over 80% responded, the code is too complex. So it would seem that they would back some sort of tax reform. Did, oh. Go ahead, sir. We got a minute remaining. No, absolutely. You are completely right. And uh, they, they also, uh, and over, well, almost half of the responders also wanted much fewer deductions than we have today. So I think you're absolutely correct on that. Well, Odysseus Papa Demetrio, we know that you will find interesting answers to interesting questions. It was Benjamin Franklin who said there are only two certainties in life, death and taxes. To that, let's add a third one. Uh, interesting compilation of data, though we won't exactly call them polls, from WalletHub.com. Odysseus, we appreciate your contribution, and we look forward to uh, hearing what you have for us next. Come oh, back and see so us much. again real soon. Thank you. Odysseus Papa Demetrio, WalletHub.com. Coming up, well, Steve Molesberg to tell us what's on his show. That's straight ahead on America's Forum. Please stay with us here on Newsmax TV.